been a little over one year since Crown Zenith was released. In my opinion, it's quite possibly the best Sword and Shield set released. For starters, it has four of some of the most amazing gold cards I've ever seen. So today we're going to crack into 36 packs of Crown Zenith and see if this set still holds up the test of time. I just needed an excuse to open up Crown Zenith. This set is so amazing. So here we go. Booster Packs of Crown Zenith. The market price is $4. I mean... Honestly, with the really good pull rate and everything else that I mentioned, I think it's totally worth it. All right, here's some of the cards in this set. Uh, you got the gold cards. I mean, this one right here, the Giratina, is still like $80. Um, you have the Arceus, that's $60. The Mewtwo V-Stars up there, the Leafeon, Glaceon, the Raikou V, uh, the Rita, the Suicune, the, the, the list goes on and on. This is just the, the gallery. And then you have the main part of the set, which is definitely less impressive um, I think it really comes down to that gallery there. But you have the Secret Rare Pikachu, which is a really nice card. All right, but let's get it going. Crown Zenith, our first booster pack of the day. I'm also be giving away a stack of Crown Zenith packs to one subscriber here. All you gotta do is, number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. I think this set has almost everything going for it. The price, I mean, $4 a pack is still really good. The pull rate is insane. And then all the artworks, especially the gallery cards, are just, like, mind-blowingly good. It's the perfect set to open up. We got Mime. Besides that, we can throw Mimes away. We're good. Reggie Giga Speed to start it off. I'm also going to count every single pull that we get in today's video. Um, just because I want to see how many pulls we get out of 36 packs of this set. I honestly think that you are more likely to get a pull than to not get a pull with Crown Zenith. It's kind of crazy. But every time I open this set up, I just cannot stop getting pulls. It's kind of it's kind of mind-blowing. So I'm going to see how many pulls we get today as well. We got Corefish, Altaria just like that from the uh, the gallery. And then the Tapu Lele Hollow. All right, Altaria. So we got our second pull of the day so far. But you guys got to let me know down below in the comment section. Do you think that... Uh, do, do, you, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I mean, everybody's opinion is valid here. So let me know your thoughts on the set. Obviously, your favorite set could be any set from, from any generation. Uh, you could hate this set, you could love this set, you could think it's okay. Baltoy, we got a Lyperd. It was a really cool way to end the Sword and Shield era, though. I will say that. It was January of 2023. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I remember opening this set up. It was so much fun. So, I think, uh, I think this set is definitely holding the test of time here. It's only been a year, but you know what I mean. Alright, so we got two pulls so far here. I think we could do a lot better, though. I'm looking for some of those gold cards. Uh, of course, any of the glaring uh, gallery is going to be absolutely insane for the most part, especially those really big hitter cards, which I tend to pull frequently, and I know a lot of other people do as well. We got the Keldeo. Nice. I love the artwork on this one. Even the regular gallery cards are sick. And then we got a Volcarona. How could you not like these cards, man? These are really good. And we got Yellow Borders. <laughs> you guys missed those or what? <laughs> I don't know. I think they're cool. I think they're... Uh... I think they're different. I think they definitely remind me more of Pokemon cards because that's just how they've been for all these years. Like so many years, 25 years or whatever. Pancham, we got a really nice uh, uh, leaf energy here and it has like the texture and everything. We got a Tangulo in the front here. And this is, we're going back. I know we got to throw it back to the, to the card trick days for this one. Ultra Ball, Tangula, Baltoy, got a Meow. Wilmer Shinx. Oh man, there we go. Hoopa V, and I guess that's considered an alternate artwork, or I, you know what I mean? It's uh, it's it's definitely a higher end gallery card because it has the texture and all that stuff. I haven't pulled this card so long, actually. That's kind of crazy. But the gallery cards, dude, they're just like everywhere in this set. It's it's ridiculous. So this is gonna be our best pull so far. All right, let's go. Crown Zenith, uh, they never had booster packs though, so. Um, one, two, three, four. So basically, like a lot of this stuff, this is, since this is a special set, it's really interesting also that it's still $4 a pack because a lot of the special sets tend to go up in price pretty quickly um, because they're just really tougher to get because you have to buy all these special collection boxes. Oh my God, dude, we're flying right now. Drapion V, dude, that's what I'm talking about. Two packs in a row with the full arts. You could never like open up this set and, and not get pulls. It's just... Uh, it's just impossible. I was just looking at the uh, the centering on this pack. Crown Zenith is like all the way over here to the side. We've got a bunch that are off center on this pile. Um, one, two, three, four. But yeah, there was a lot of this printed. That's another reason why the prices are probably still low on this thing. 
Uh, but I think this is just like a really, really fun set. Especially if you're opening up a set. Especially if you're opening it up. And there we go. I forgot. There's literally Charizards in this set. There's also the Radiant Charizard as well. But we got a Charizard V-Star. Not the craziest Charizards, but I mean, they're in here. The V-Star is pretty nice. There's the regular V and then the Radiant. Um, I don't know which. I'd say the Radiant is probably the the most popular one because it's, it's a shiny Charizard. I mean, how can you not like that? All right. Come on. Let's get some big pulls, baby. We got a Molga. Ditto reverse. Like a rock. Seven pulls so far. Have not pulled a double banger pack yet. Which reminds me that the new Temporal Forces, they've definitely nerfed the pull rates on double banger packs. A hundred percent. I mean, like, nobody's pulling them. And if you do pull them, it's really tough to, to pull one. Pikachu! Not the secret rare version, but this one was in the Japanese set for the God Packs, which is pretty crazy. Uh, but we got this Pikachu here with, riding on the leaf. All right, Crown Zenith. Oh, okay. Well, that's going out there. We're just going to go three. Okay. Come on, Graveler. We got Pokemon. Energy Search. Scrope. Ooh, ooh, it's going to be a double banger. <laughs> Dude, this card is sick. This card is sick. Is it going to be? Oh, to the Zamazena. There it is. I just spoke it into existence. Our first double banger, which honestly, surprisingly, took longer than I feel like typically when I open Crown Zenith up. But we got one, and now the pulls are flying. I actually have no idea how many pulls we can expect to get out of these. This is, this is pretty fun just to hang out, open a Crown Zenith stack of packs. Like, I mean, we're just chilling, you know what I mean? It's nothing too, too ridiculous here, but it's cool to kind of look back and check this set out. And uh, we got Seal. Riolu into a Wailord. Uh, wait, what happened? I don't know what I did there, but whatever. There wasn't anything in that pack. All right, next uh, pack. I can talk. What's your guys' favorite set from Sword and Shield? Let me know. Let me know. I know a lot of people say Evolving Skies. Uh, I like Lost Origin, Brilliant Stars. Simisir V. <sighs> I'm just feeling good. I'm just, just really like thankful to be able to do this every day, hang out with you guys here, open up packs, and just, uh, I don't know, enjoy this hobby that we all love. Like It's just kind of, it's interesting how far things have come, honestly. But we got Riolu here. We got Starly, Volcanion, and we got an EVV. Nice. I mean, really, there's so many ways to enjoy the hobby now, whether you like playing the game, the TCG, where you like collecting the cards, opening packs. Going to different um, conventions and different like different places to meet up and hang out and trade. Like there's just so it's such a cool hobby. It's really it really is. Like the people you meet in this hobby and like the just so many different like entry points to this hobby. Whether and now even outside that just Pokemon in general, even just like the video games, TV series. Like it is such a cool thing to to be a part of. Obviously I've, I've mentioned this before, but I collected as a kid when when it first came out. Uh, I remember playing the game, like, you know, 1999, stuff like that, base set. The original Game Boy games, you know, I was in elementary school. I was just, I was just an average kid, you know, and it's just like, it took over and everybody was into it. Like, it was ridiculous. Um, I did it, you know, I collected for, I played the games for probably like four years or something like that. Then, you know, middle school hit and stuff like that, and it wasn't cool anymore. You couldn't, you couldn't do it anymore. And I don't know. I would assume nowadays, like, it's so much like everybody does it because like just like people like my age and older and younger and everything in between but back then it was like all right you're middle school now like you gotta stop with the pokemon so and it was like a peer pressure type thing you know what i mean but it was like uh yeah so i stopped i, I collected and played the games for probably like three four years then i fell off and then that's like honestly honestly pokemon started slowing down because they moved into like the e-series and stuff like that and uh like the EX era and okay, we're just gonna skip those. And uh, yeah, so I like didn't I didn't I didn't collect the cards. I didn't really play much of the games. I did I played the actually I played the games like not not all the Game Boy games, but like a lot of the main console games and stuff like that. I played. Um, but um, and then twenty like sixteen Pokemon Go came out. Oh my God! Hold on a second. I gotta stop my story. This right here is definitely my favorite glaring gallery card. That's a non non full art version. Uh, or not a textured version or whatever. This card is so... It's just amazing. But anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, 2016 Pokemon Go. And, like, I started getting back into it, like, right before that. Um, getting closer to, to the 10-year mark of getting back into this. But I guess all in all, I've been uh, into Pokemon cards for, I guess, a total of, like, 12 years now, I want to say. If you include it, like, from when it, you know, first released back in the day. Um, but yeah, it's just cool to see how far things come, honestly. The Berserker. But yeah, I don't know. 
I just appreciate everybody here that's been watching this channel for all these years or whether you just kind of stop by or, you know, just come to hang out every once in a while or you're new here, you've been here for the last four years. I appreciate it. And I thank you guys for letting me be, be a part of this community and uh, just be able to do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> I keep getting caught up by amazing cards here. Woo, yo, come on. How can you not like this set? And, like, even if you don't even, like, love it, just opening it up and getting all these cards is crazy. And then another, another double banger. How many pulls have we got so far? I, I got I to gotta do a count real quick. We're just barely halfway through this. Fifteen. 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 Like, good pulls. Anything better than a hollow so far. It's crazy. All right. Well, let's keep going. All right. The V-Star. But, yeah, I'm excited for the future of Pokemon. I think it's... It's cool. It hits every generation. You know what I mean? I definitely want some more throwback stuff, though. Okay. I like Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3 stuff. Because either way, like, that's, like, super nostalgic for me just because that's what I started off with. You know what I mean? It's, like, the original like the original Gen 1. I know it's overplayed so much, but, like, it's just, that's just where I started. And that's just, like, the original. You know what I mean? It's just, the, the like, just, like, learning about Pokemon for the first time and seeing it on TV for the first time, man, like, you cannot beat that. Like, those memories are just forever just, like, engraved in me. Or waking up Saturday mornings. I had, like, a little tube TV on the floor in my bedroom with my brother. And we were just we were just going and just sitting down there, like, super early in the morning and watching the newest episode of Pokemon. Like, it really didn't get much better than that. Switch. We got Larvesta. Oh, my God. Doubling up. I'm sorry because I didn't mention we got that pool. And the Rota V-Star. Double. Double banger. And I'll be honest with you guys, I never would have thought in a million years that I'd be opening up Pokemon cards on YouTube. Like, it's just, like, so crazy to me to think. Like, it just doesn't even make sense. It really doesn't. Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, it's really just still, I still think about it. I'm just, like, so, so I open up Pokemon cards on YouTube? Like, imagine if I told myself that as a kid. Like, I, I just, it's still, like, crazy to me. Every day, it's still, I still don't believe it. Okay, like, the, the pull rate is crazy. Like, did I not say that? Is this, like, one of... I mean, like... I didn't really count up the, like, how much we're, we got in pulls compared to the cost of the packs. I think the pack, or, like, all the packs is, like, $144 of packs. But I feel like <laughs> you do pretty pretty good, like, on... Compared to, like, what you spend on the packs for this set. Compared to a lot of other sets, I will say that. Especially if you grade any of these and you get them in, like, a 10 or whatever. Um... <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Okay. Here we go. Trekking Shoes. Friends of Sinnoh. We got Cherub B, Execute, Crushing Hammer, and the Simister V Star. All right. Come on. We're going to get like such a crazy pull rate. I'm going to count up all the pulls on the last pack we're going to see. Whew. All right. I'm filming super late. Like, I normally don't film this late. And uh, I had a long day. <laughs> I'm tired. All right. Come on. One, two, three, four. Here it is, Gloom, Great Ball, Graveler, Rock Rock, Purloin, love this, Chatot, Yanma. Non-hollow. Kind of weird going back to sets where you don't get at least hollow. Like, it's kind of actually weird now that, you, that I think about it as a reverse being, like, the worst case scenario. But, like, now we get two reverses and a hollow as worst case scenario. Like, what's the deal with the two reverse thing? Ooh, Lunatone, nice. Tapu Lele. We got 21 pulls so far, 36 packs total. Are we gonna hit 30 pulls today? I think it's possible. It's definitely possible. Definitely, I think we should get like high 20s. I think we should get high 20s. Come on. Man, if you include the double hit packs, right now we have more pulls than, 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 um, not more pulls than packs. Well, more likely to have pulled than not. Paris, there we go. Oh, Canyon. Let's see what we got here. Five final packs. Can we hit 30 pulls? Can we hit 30 pulls? Purloin, love this. Chat touch. Oh, let's go. This was like one of the first cards I saw when they revealed this set and everything like that. Sweet Coon V. That is probably the best pull that we got. Uh, Leafeon's pretty good. I mean, this is the Leafeon. Uh, oh, my God. And the Charizard V. What? Got what, like 20, 24, 24 pulls. That was a really good pack. That was a really good artwork too. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We'll go straight through this one. 
Let's see if we continue the luck. Oh, no. Completely just shut it down on that. All right. It is warming up here in New Jersey. Uh, it's raining a lot, dude. It's literally like raining nonstop the last three days. Like literally like all day. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But um, it's going to start getting nicer out. And I'm going to start getting back into the to uh, vlog rev action. So going to be doing more vlogs, stuff like that. Uh, got a new camera set up. Hopefully, I hope you guys enjoyed that last vlog at the uh, car convention with Ryan and stuff like that. That was a lot of fun to get out and do that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, hopefully doing more stuff like that. We got Deoxys. I know my mic was, like, a little bit off on that video, but uh, that was totally my fault. I messed that up, but I got new mic. I got new new camera stuff, so we'll be able to do uh, just, yeah, you know, like, keep uh, I don't usually worry about my camera and stuff, to be honest with you guys. Like, I just like going and hanging out. I just... I literally use my iPhone. Like, I've always just used my iPhone. This is actually an iPhone. This is this is a really old iPhone. <laughs> this is a... It's like a 7 or something. Like an iPhone 7 or... It might even be like a 6 or something. Like, it's a really old iPhone. It's like crazy old. Uh, but I just like... I don't know. I don't really worry about that stuff too much. Uh, but yeah, every time I've vlogged, I've always just used like my iPhone and... But there's, uh, I got something else now, so the quality should be better, and definitely the the audio and stuff, which is, the audio is definitely important. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we, we got we got some cool stuff coming. We got some cool stuff coming. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Don't spoil me now. Oh, oh, okay. Double double banger, both with texture. Okay, I don't know. You guys tell me. Like, I think this set is awesome. I really do. I think it's a really really good set to open up. We're at 27 pulls. Close to 30. If we get double banger pack on this, we'll be at 29. But all right, that is Crown Zenith. Let me know what you guys think. Here we go. Water Energy Shaman. I think we, we, we might have even got, like, our value back. We might have even got our value back in raw cards. Maybe. Maybe. It, we definitely, if we graded some of these and got some 10s back, definitely. Carnivine Larvesta. Baltoy Meowth Welmer. Tangrowth, Glacian V to end it. This is the stack right here. 28 pulls. Dude, that's actually insane. 28 pulls out of 36. That's almost one pull for every pack if we average it out. It's pretty, it's getting pretty close to it. I love this set. All right, guys, that is going to do it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one.